Delson wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford. There's something flashing under their skin. That's not very discreet. Required. Mm, digital security. Clever. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. This implant could be useful. not very discreet. That's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. It's a perfect fit. A slot for what would appear to be a small card. Hmm, I've never seen a machine like that. Let's see how it works. Hmm. There. I've got an implant, but it's blinking. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. That's not very discreet. It's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. Clean 
That doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. That's not very discreet. Closed. These hallways. They converted a hospital. In 1870, Long Island was a hospital for chronically ill patients. What do they use it for now? A closet. Hmm, disappointing. They haven't been used for years. They don't appear to use this area. Vaccination campaign from 1988. There must have been more traffic here back then. How strange. This looks like an implant. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. Hey! Who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. You seem nervous. Is everything all right? Not really. Ever since those nut jobs took over, they've been acting like they run the place. Without a red implant, you can't do anything around here anymore. And I don't think your colleagues appreciate being kept in the dark. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. My question isn't about the protocol, but what you can do to help a colleague in need. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course. Reserved the Society of St. Leopold. Yeah. 
Here we go. New clearance. Scalpel. Their equipment is in perfect condition. is bigger than I thought. It's not going to be that easy to find Stanford. When Stanford learns that his colleague was held up, he'll want to know who was responsible for it. There will be consequences to pay. Stanford! Scan your implant. Are we all right? Yeah. Next time. Let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. What? implants yeah it's me again I can't get into anything I'm telling you the database is locked if I keep it up I'll block the entire system sorry I don't see what else I can do to help you I'd ask Stanford himself but he's not on this floor Have you tried the, archives? the archives you think so maybe I'll take a look well if I could open the door different laboratory wings three members of the Society of St. Leopold are in charge on this floor Haveron, Mana, and Gallagher An implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford, but I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean?
I need a red implant. I'm not going to waste my only chance. Oh, what now? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. Yeah. I'll wait. That changed the number that's displayed. That's more like it. Here we go. Finally. I hope I find something in the other time. But I doubt I will. It looks like a converted military base. Left over from the Cold War, most likely. That's a lot of blood. What are they doing here? The latest results are important. Uh, tell me you weren't there for Favarone's meltdown. I only caught the end. Great. She yells at me in front of everyone now. It's her way of motivating the troops. There are less painful techniques. I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to double as her personal assistant. I'm in the middle of a promising procedure, but I keep getting interrupted. No matter. I'd better stop complaining. It can't be easy for a professional like you to have someone poking sticks in your spokes. It's hard to complain because she's very efficient. And she's not just anyone in the Society of St. Leopold. She adapted very quickly here, got the attention of the higher-ups. So, I deal with it. For the cause. Henry, if you don't want to be the next body under my scalpel, I need those lab results by tomorrow. I'll be going now. Back to work. Yeah. 
It would appear they are attempting to use our regenerative abilities on humans. They'll never be able to do it. Hi. Concentrate. doesn't look too good. Hmm, doesn't seem to work. A red implant. Maybe the one that I need. The epidermis is already breaking down. I've been working on this for way too long. This locker belongs to Professor Henry. Bacteriological suits. It's locked. Hi. Concentrate. Easy. Decontamination complete. Don't have anything better to do? In case you were wondering, this isn't dinner and a show. Get back to work. A surgical steel table that's been carefully put away. Everything is ready for an operation. These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up!
that what they've got planned for us? These people must be stopped, or we'll all end up here. I can't accept that. I feel that urge, like something is tearing me apart. There's no way to open it. No, that's not possible. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. No, that's not possible. It won't open. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. No, that's not possible. It won't open. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. No, that's not possible. open. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. There's no way to open it. No, that's not possible. There's no way to open it. No. That's not possible. It won't open. There's no way to open it. It won't open. There's no way to open it. It won't open. No, that's not possible. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. It won't open. I never thought I'd be handling a cerebellum. Contamination complete. Got that cerebellum for me? You sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? what? Ah! I have
have a red implant. Will it allow me to see Stanford's location? That's a lot of blood. What are they doing here? So much hostility. This kindred must have suffered. Elevator just came down. <sighs> the implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. When you're done with that, get started on cleaning the last tank. Very well.
she has a red implant that could help me find Stanford. Pyrolysis protocol. What? No, 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 don't, don't, <laughs> Pyrolysis complete. about the society of St. Leopold burned to a crisp. I won't get anything out of it, unfortunately. From the looks of it, their prototypes appear to be quite effective already. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. It's almost as if it had been gnawed. The wires need to be spliced, but with your bare hands, that will hurt. should help. This looks like a weapon that has been taken apart, most likely a prototype. Good, it works. What? What do you want? My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. I'm doing an inspection. Oh, should I call you Inspector, then? There's nothing to investigate here. We're working, something you might not be familiar with. Now get out of my way. We're all on the same team here. We're not going to get anywhere by tripping each other up. You're right. I get carried away. Sorry. I'm really under pressure right now. The problem with the tanks? You know about that? Yeah, that and everything else. There aren't enough of us to keep it all running and keep up the pace. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Your shoulder. Are you hurt? What? Oh, that. No. It's blood, but it's not mine. 
When you spend your days dissolving bodies, you're bound to get splashed. Can you open this door for me? The warehouse? Why? Open the door. Now. I... Very well. Acids, thermite, liquid nitrogen. Nice collection. Yes, of course. It's a perfect fit. Dowager's not gonna like this. Decontamination complete. Finally, the cleanup's going to start. We don't have all night. Decontamination complete. Decontamination complete. Finally! Tank number one has been cleaned. Rahim, can you please set up the next test for me when you have time? The door is open. There's a red implant. It might be the one I'm looking for. Hmm. There must be a way to get him out of here. Excuse me. If you're looking for a little light reading, this is not the place. I'm looking for something a little different. Can I help you? The person in charge here. If I needed to talk to him, how would I go about doing it? It's not easy. In general, Father Joseph doesn't leave the conservation area until he has finished his work. If he's restoring something, it can take a long time. He locks himself in with everything he needs, food and drink, and we don't see him again until he's done. What happens if there's an emergency? Look around you and ask yourself. 
What kind of emergency could there ever be in a museum or library? So he doesn't come out. That doesn't mean he can't be reached. He approves every request to borrow a book from the conservation area through a computer system. So, if I request a book, he'll come and hand deliver it to me? No, it's automatic. He'll just approve the request. His work is very important. We do everything we can not to interrupt him. I'd rather you not disturb him. My job is far more important than dusting off some musty old books. I just need to talk to him, and he's impossible to reach. There's not much I can do for you. As long as he's working on his book, he won't answer. What's he working on? I have no idea. He's working his way through his list. Yesterday, I heard him say that he finished the authors starting with R. He was very happy about it. I see that we have collected a lot of things. Yes, and it can be complicated to find your way around. What are you working on? Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk to you about it. Well then, you'll find some other way to get the information you're looking for. I'll be going now. This emblem has been severely burned. Florins that belong to former hunters. What do they hope to get out of them? I'm getting tired. some coffee. Oh, I'm having a grand old time.
All right. Invalid code. The glass walled room appears to contain very old books. They're extremely fragile. There must be a connection. Excuse me, I. I warn you, didn't I? Maybe you'll listen to me next time. Going to need to find a way to get his attention. This is a waste of my time. What? 
Fine. Very well. I'm coming. Ah, thus Cain went to Amor. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is in knots. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help. Should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows? Maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Manor. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence. And you are a fascinating subject. Just what exactly am I to you? A variety of guinea pig? Have you heard of Raphael Renzi? The name doesn't ring a bell. I'm not surprised, actually. He was an inquisitor who had qualms and thought that vampires could find salvation. He was burned at the pyre. As were many others. But Renzi's ideas were handed down over the centuries. The church may have issued the Florentine decree, but the questions he raised at the time still have gone unanswered. An inquisitor with remorse? Something like that. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? Don't take me for a fool. I've seen what your colleagues do here. One dissects us like animals. The other is testing weapons. Your definition of understanding baffles me. Indeed, my colleagues don't all share my point of view. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. Why should I help you? Just think of all that we could do together. A mutually beneficial partnership would be ideal for a researcher such as yourself. Indeed, an unprecedented alliance. The offer is tempting, I admit. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? That's obvious, but that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. You made your decision when you chose not to call security. There's no reason to hesitate now. You don't understand the predicament in which I find myself. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat, like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution. Stanford is far from innocent. He defiles your beliefs. It's true that we are often in disagreement. Then it's time to take action. You're right. I've been blinded for far too long. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can locate him. Chiara Favarone, in the clinic. She's the only person who has access to them on the main computer. Very well, then. But please, 
No unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. I cannot allow you to live. I'll take that. I'm sorry, Joseph. It's every man for himself. changed my clearance level. Very well. Let's see what I have access to now. Shit. Wrong implant. GPS location is still unavailable. I'll have to find Stanford another way. There he is! Take him downstairs! Today is September 6, 2019. This is confession number six, conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must. Endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. He knows more than he's letting on. I must. disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. 
They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Solus. <coughs> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? Come now. You're not a shy one. I know that already. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray if you still can. Dominate our lives. Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you manage to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? I was helped, actually. You should be more careful in choosing your men, Stanford. Give me a name. Joseph Manor. Ah. Unlike St. Paul on the road to Damascus, our poor Joseph has done quite the opposite and finally renounced his faith. We shall take immediate action against him. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? We don't have any place like that anymore. Do you take me for an idiot? You leave me no choice. I'm going to have to purify you. I won't tell you anything. We'll see how long you last. I don't think you understand. Again. I... I can't. Take it anymore. Oh, you 
wretched creature. How? Remove that before we continue. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Gaylor. 